Here in the library of classics at the Disney Studios in California is Walt Disney. Some years ago in England lived a very gifted storyteller by the name of Kenneth Graham. Like his contemporary Lewis Carroll who wrote Alice in Wonderland, Kenneth Graham was not a professional writer. And like Carroll, who taught mathematics at Oxford University, Kenneth Graham held a responsible position in the world of figures. He was the official acting secretary of the mighty Bank of England. And again, like Carroll, he sought escape from this rigid workaday life in a world of imagination and fable. Unfortunately for posterity, Graham was a shy, modest kind of man. Because when the success of his story showed every indication of turning Graham into a popular celebrity, he promptly stopped writing it. Now this week, we want to pay tribute to Mr. Graham with two of his stories. The first, The Reluctant Dragon. Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a faraway land across the sea, there lived a little boy who considered himself quite an authority on brave, fearless knights and their mortal enemies, those horrible, fire-breathing dragons that daily terrorized the countryside. One afternoon, as the boy sat deeply engrossed in his favorite subject, Good afternoon, Father. Oh, son, I seen it. Up on the downs it was, all covered with scales and such, in a tail with a sort of a nook on it. Now, will I catch me back? It's horrible. That's what it is. Horrible. It's only a dragon, Father.